the show. Well, we know we should all get our teeth cleaned twice a year, but did you know that the same is true for our dogs? And good doggy dental hygiene is about more than just their teeth. <laughs> Mark Shambor from Canine Corral is here with Brad Rodriguez and Simba. Frisky little thing. Yes. yes. <laughs> now you all are here as part of National Pet Dental Health Month. So before we get started talking about dental health, you brought us some fun photos of dogs at Canine Corral who are all kind of showing off their pearly whites. They are. So let's take a look at who you brought dogs, for us happy today. Dogs. This here is, well, it's actually Brad, but AKA Barney in honor of my dad who recently passed. Oh. Friends of Manatee Animal Services had did, um, had paid for a back surgery for him and we're, he's fostered at our facility and we're giving him some obedience training. So well, he's got he a second like chance he's enjoying at life. It. Yes. He's and he's smiling. a happy guy, yes. Aww. All right, and you also, we have a picture of? Well, now, uh, he's on assignment today. That's Spencer. He's yes, usually he's, with he's me. He's normally here. Uh, he has some other things to do, but that's where, uh, when he first got him, he was so happy with his little drag bag that he drags <laughs> along that he was uh, letting me know how much he liked it. Great oh, smile. Oh, great teeth, too. Oh, we've got we a go trio. trio. <laughs> we've got Storm, Joe, and Kai, which were in our, in our daycare, and those were some pictures we took with them just being happy playing. Oh, well, actually posing. There we go. Oh, this is beautiful. Inga. Uh, <laughs> Igna is um, a, a husky, and we have like a little jungle thing out there. And in the slide, I put uh, something skid resistant so they can play on it, use it so that they actually don't slide down it, but they run up it and run down it. Oh. They have a lot of fun with it. That might it. be a nervous smile, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think she's happy. Yes. And oh, this is uh, Cheyenne and Taco. Cheyenne's the first one on the left, and Taco. And this was a picture that they were just happy to see someone. Oh. oh. And that happens a lot at the corral. This is <laughs> awesome. If you look at the tongue, it almost looks like a heart. Yeah. This is Armani. Armani is also a daycare dog and quite the character. The breed is very fun and uh, like a clown. Oh, a well, they're all so happy, of course, to be at Canine Corral. <laughs> but so you brought us, this is actually a very important topic for pet owners. We understand that dogs need to have clean teeth to kind of reduce tooth decay, but it can be more important than that. Definitely, uh, just like with humans, um, uh, you can actually extend the dog's life by having good dental hygiene. Uh, they say up to 30% based on some studies that they have oh, done. Oh, that's amazing. Wow. It is, and, and the thing is, is it's just like with humans, if you don't have a good dental hygiene, you have more health problems, lung, kidney, heart. Uh, so we wanna make sure that we keep them as clean as possible, as early as possible. Ah, yes, all right, so you actually brought us a list of signs that we should maybe look for that our dog's teeth could be having problems. Yes. Walk us through this list. And again, just like with humans, it's gonna be foul breath. Uh, discoloration or deep red gums, um, look for excessive tartar. Lift the lip and check your dog's uh, teeth. Well, sometimes <laughs> we don't do that and the tartar is going to be up at the top. Bleeding gums after they do eating, after they eat or they do some chewing on chew oh. toys. Very good indication if it's on the toy there's a problem. Oh, those are good to treat. know. Important yes. things to look out for. So, all right, so we know that we want to keep the, their, their dental health in, uh, intact. Um, what are some ways that we can prevent some, some decay and other issues? One of the best ways uh, is dental brushing. Uh, I know a lot of people procrastinate it and don't do it, so we have other ways to do it, but dental brushing is one of the best ways daily. Uh, and a rinse as well. Yeah, he, he doesn't like <laughs> no. it either. He knows. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but it is something that we should be doing, we should be doing at home. It should be them. a routine, maybe uh, after they eat, that sort of thing, or just some time when you can just uh, sit back with your dog and, and actually do that. It can be a fun experience. All right, the second D, uh, there, there's Dental four exams, yes. Uh, dental exam is very important, at least annually, just so you can expect, have, have a, a vet uh, see what's going on in mm -hmm. the mouth. Yeah. Uh, maybe they're seeing something that you don't. Uh, another one is the dental diet. And uh, you brought us some things here that we can pick up from you at yes. Canine Corral uh, that will help with that. Talk to us what you brought. If for some reason you don't go the daily brushing route, or even if you do, um, we have chews there that are good for dental. In, in order to be a dental chew, it has to be able to produce, ten per, uh, remove 10% uh, plaque, 10% uh, tartar, 20% plaque. Oh, that's so okay. good to know. Yes. yes, and that's why these are classified as dental. It's scientific. Uh, basically, the chews, there's the brush, which we're going to demonstrate in mm -hmm. just a bit. Uh, I love the Busy Buddy, which is where the brush is. It's the third one down there. Oh. It actually has a brush, and uh, the purple part is where it can actually work on the gums. And you put a disc in there where they chew on, and they're actually brushing their teeth as oh, how funny. they're oh, chewing. Wow. So it, it has a double purpose. They like doing it, and it's 
good for their, their uh, there's rinse over there, mm -hmm. uh, which you can put in the water, and then there's another chew, which is a nylabone type chew, that actually works the teeth. It's uh, good to know that like, they're not all created equally, but you have a nice selection at mm -hmm. Canine Corral. Yes. And I want to talk about the brushing, because I think we're all, um, I can speak for myself, a little afraid to do it. Yes. And so, Brad, you are going to kind of show us some tips on how we can try to brush our dogs at home. And Simba, I think, knows what's coming. <laughs> yes, yes. So talk us through a little bit and give us some tips. Um, so the first thing that I did, he was a little scared of the toothbrush. And the gel wasn't flavored, so I bought some toothpaste that has a chicken flavor ah. oh, and nice. just open up the lid and let him lick the flavor off of it. Okay. And then after that, I put it on the toothbrush. He's excited now. And then he knows what that is. Oh, oh look at wow. that. So then you just it's go almost like a chew. Gently in. Now you might ask, why are we uh, having a puppy brush its teeth when it's going to lose all its teeth anyway? It's to get the dog used to oh, it right. uh -huh. early. Yeah. Because it can habits. be harder later to introduce. Definitely. And harder. real quick, tell us, I know I was concerned about this as a dog owner. Some of us can get concerned if your dog has to go under anesthesia to have a teeth cleaning at the vet. Wh what do you say about that? Well, it's very concerning, especially for an older dog. And of course, that's a lot of times when the dogs need to yeah. have their teeth mm -hmm. cleaned. Uh, they do have a mobile uh, dead cl de dental cleaning. Uh, it's called Easy Easy Dead Easy Dog Dead Pen. It's something. Look it up. We have it at the corral. But they go around, and what they do is they don't an use the anesthesia for the dog. They have a way to calm the dog so that you don't have to put your dog oh, under nice. mm -hmm. completely. And it's very, very safe for the dogs in those situations where the dog may be a little so bit So there older. are options, and we can find out the different products and the services by visiting you at Canine Corral. Yes. Thank you. Important stuff for, uh, for dog owners. Of course, you can find information about all of your pet's needs, including training, daycare, and boarding. You can have a smiling dog. You can find them at Canine Corral by going to their website, caninecorralsrq.com. All right, coming up next, Cynthia Sayer comes back to teach us how to play the banjo and a little bit about the history of the jazz banjo. You don't want to miss it. <laughs> <laughs>